As the Delta variant causes a surge in COVID cases, the number of hospitalizations is rising quickly. Local doctors are worried they will soon be stretched thin again. News 13's Rachel Knapp is here to explain the trends they're seeing this time around. Rachel? Yeah, well, Dean Albuquerque doctors say the virus is now targeting a certain group of people, and it includes kids. We really don't want to have further surging, increased numbers of patients. In our hospitals. Tricor Labs and Metro Area Hospitals are uniting to beg people to get the COVID vaccine. In Presbyterian hospitals statewide, we're experiencing a doubling of cases every week. Three weeks ago, we had about 22 patients, last week, about 45. Uh, and this week, we have nearly 90 patients hospitalized with COVID. New Mexico went from having 190 people in the hospital due to COVID to 250 in just one day. Doctors say when the pandemic first hit, older people and those with underlying conditions were more commonly hospitalized. But the virus is now targeting a different group of people. Evidence shows that COVID-19 is now really a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Doctors say about 93% of their COVID patients are unvaccinated. And because people younger than 12 years old aren't eligible for the vaccine, hospitals are seeing more kids being admitted for COVID. We are seeing a rise in pediatric cases, but the absolute numbers are still small. What we're seeing so far are similar symptoms to that seen in adults. Local hospitals say they've been busy with non-COVID patients who had delayed treatments last year. They worry another coronavirus surge could put them over the top. Vaccines are safe, they're effective, and we can prevent an increased number of deaths from COVID-19. There is still time. Now, according to data from the Department of Health, Hispanics, Native Americans, and people 35 years and older are among those more likely to be hospitalized. Back to you. All right, Rachel, thank you. The state's top doctor, Dr. David Scrace, will be giving an update on those hospitalizations tomorrow.